It's been a couple days. I've been pretty busy. I haven't had much time to work on this thing. So we're moving out with the show and we're back on the 5.3 build. Um, so all I've done so far was I did rehome this side here um, just to really get it nice and clean. And then I covered over all the, the water, the water inlets, the water jackets, whatever they're called. And then also where the bolts go, because I'm gonna sand this side down a little bit. And then this side also, I've kind of covered that. Um, just to not have to get any kind of shavings in there. I mean, no big shavings, but just to not get it dirty. I've already kind of washed it and reflushed it. Um, so I just don't want to get no particles in there and anything like that. So anyways, I got my air filer block here from the body shop that we're going to use to save some time. Um, and that's it. So we're going to knock this down real quick. And then once we get that, then we're going to put it on here and install the cam bearings and get all that going so let's get to it slide in and it's not supposed to do that you're supposed to be tapped in so it's supposed to be you gotta hammer them in not that it's not supposed to do that so I've been looking and looking and looking doing research I went over I checked the order that I bought to see you know what year uh, so this is a gen 3 model um, I believe it's a 03 that's what I was told seems like it is it seems like it is a O3 um, because these bearings I bought is said from 99 to 05 um, but that's a little bit false because when I keep doing research from 99 to 03 it's this style which is a smaller a smaller uh, bearing and from 03 to like 07 it's the next style, which is the one that I believe I have. Um, so that's interesting. The next thing is, for you guys out there, I thought all five were the same, right? Like same size, same everything, and it's not. Um, the front one, the number five, and the rear are thicker. Um, a little bit of thicker, bearing same inside diameter I believe um, but the outside is thicker um, and if I'm not mistaken it's just for the weight of the cam that's kind of where it weighs on so it just built a little bit stronger um, so anyways correct me if I'm wrong that's what I'm learning so far <clears throat> but the front one and the back one are a thicker one and then um, the second and the fourth is like another number and then the center is another number. So it's not just order five bearings and slap them in. That's kind of what I was thinking. It's not really like that. So, and then this kit that I got is the Durabon, it's the CH10. So it says that it's from 99 to 05, but that is misleading. It's really from like 99 to 03. And this is an 03 model. So it looks like it might have been a later model because it has the 03 to 07 bearings, which I have it written down is right here. So these are the ones that I ordered from 03 down. It's this size, the number 
number one and number five is this size of a of a journal i think it's how it's on. and then from 03 and up it's a little bit of a bigger size by just a hair so that's why this size just kind of dances in there and i'm believing that this is the size that i need We are back in Johnny's garage and you guys guessed it the bearings finally came in um, These are the different ones These are the CH 23 So those are from 03 and up to like 09 I think somewhere around there maybe a little more and then these are the uh, CH 10 which are the old ones that I got which are for the 03 and down um, of the gen 3s so that's it we finally got this thing off of here this is the second time i do it uh the other day i took all this down and and uh, i had to put it back so now i took it down again and this time i put it upside down because the first time i didn't and there was really no way to get to it so i would have had to do it again anyways um so yeah we ended up now putting it upside down so that way we have space to put the bearings in so let's get to it one thing that i found out on these bearings is that again um from the 03 and down and all that but then also that there's different thickness of bearings i believe they have it in here i believe they have it in here how it is but you have these are supposed to be the outer and then these are one size and then these two are another size and then the inside is the tightest one so that's what i understand i might be wrong but as of now that's what i've learned um and they should all have numbers you know these should be like twos these three this one one something like that um so yep now i know how to use this i think i know how to use it so i'm gonna start off with the outside one I'm gonna start off with this outside one and probably work my way back. So we're gonna slide this in first. Okay, we're gonna put this in here. And this is our outside bearing. And then we wanna make sure our, our oil hole here is in that position, which I've checked it. It's right here about two o'clock. So Let's get this here in position and then we'll double check it. And then we lock that up in there. We slide this cone in here to help center. Help center. Alright, and then once that's in there, oh, oh, oh. and then we're going to get a couple times. Check it. That went in pretty nice. Not bad. I'm gonna give it a couple more taps because I think I can see where the other one. I give it a couple more taps and see if I can hear it when it 
finish the bearings um, this is a slow process it's something that you want to kind of take your time with although you it seems like there's only five bearings you know quick you know you think 30 minutes um, and it, it's not a long day job but you got to take your time um, these bearings do have two holes on there it has a little hole like this and then it has another one up here um, so you have to match one of those holes with the oil the oil port that's for the bearing so on one of them it wasn't right and i had to pull it back out return it push it back in because when i was tapping it in it was kind of rotating it so it threw it off um so that's something that you're gonna have to go checking um you know how far to tap them in uh, there's really no like line to it it didn't just like go all the way to the end and, and stop um so you just kind of have to go check it tap it a little bit more um, and I just pretty much try to put these where the old ones were. So right in between, right in the middle. That's about it. So anyways, we're done with that. I'm going to, before this thing falls apart and chops the toe off, I'm gonna put this thing back on the stand, flip it over. I already washed the crank. So that actually looks nicer than ever. Um, I already washed that so we're gonna go ahead and start putting in these bearings and see if we could get that crank in here Maybe bolt it down. I don't know. So let's get this baby back on here And start working on that crank Possibly let's do it <laughs> 